Okay, I call this the matrix method or the box method for multiplying polynomials. First step is we're going to draw our box. The height of the box should be one more than the degree of the first polynomial. Basically, you want to make sure if you've got two by two that you end up with a box that's four by four, or four, right? If you've got two times three, you're going to have a box that's, that's six. six. Oh, because you multiply okay. the thing. Number two, write the polynomials you are multiplying on the outside edges of the box. Three, multiply to get each box's value. Four, combine like terms. They can be found in the diagonals. And then finally, you have to pull your answer out of the matrix or box and write it in standard form. Remember, standard form with polynomials, we just talked about this earlier, order matters, and the first term should be the highest exponent. Of course. Okay? <laughs> so open up your booklet that's copied upside down. The first polynomial is similar to the last one we did on our whiteboards. How can I rewrite this? 2x minus 1 squared would be 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Actually, you know what? Let's start with the other side because that's where it's starting to get harder. Sorry. We'll come back to that. I like the foil. No, I, trust me, for Algebra 2, you're going to want this method strong. I want the foil method. Man, do we like the okay. foil method? No. Guys, what is 4 times 2? <laughs> and what is x times x? X squared. How did you cut it? 4 times 7? 28. 28. Huh? 28. And then x. x. What's this term going to be? Um, huh? negative, six oh, negative 6x. And this will be negative? 21. 21. 21. Here are my like terms. They are diagonally together. 28x minus 6x is going to be 22x. So I'm going to rewrite this as? 8x squared plus 22x minus 21. Yes. Yes, but it's okay. better. Uh, this one could be rewritten <clears throat> as 3x minus 1 squared because both polynomials are the same. So we're going to write the terms on the outside. We're then going to multiply each for each box. First box is going to be 9 what? X squared. X squared. Yeah. Negative 3x. Negative 3x. Positive 1. <laughs> Equals? Yep. That's 0, huh? No. We multiply to get the terms that are in here, but then when there are like terms, we're, we're combining them, so we're adding them, not multiplying. Okay. I'm going to leave these last two for you guys to practice in a minute. Let's go ahead and tr go to the other side where we had started. Yeah. I want you guys to think about what we just did with this one, where it was the same polynomial times the same polynomial. What happened with the like term? We got the same like term in both of these, didn't we? Pay attention to that as we do two more like that. What's happening with my like terms here? They are again exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I got six X. I got six X. Okay, never mind. Maybe I did get it. Oh yeah, I did. Four X plus two and four X plus two. Let's pay attention to what happens with the like terms on this one. We end up first with 16x squared, and then 8x and, and then the last term is 4. Mm -hmm. So this equals 16x squared plus 16x plus 4. Same thing we were doing with the, 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 the same exact thing, 